Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Prove the following trig identity. On the left hand side, it says one plus sine theta plus cos theta all over one minus sine theta plus cosine theta, which equals to one plus sine theta all over cosine theta. Step number one, I'm going to start with the right hand side. So I'm going to copy one plus sine theta divided by cosine theta. Now, in general, there are many steps with regard to proving the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side or vice versa. And the most important step in this video is to practice what I call the move. The move will help you solve 99.9% .9 of all these trick proofs. And the idea is you have to look at what you have, look at what you want, and multiply by what is missing. So, you know, if you think about the left-hand side, there's this one plus sine theta plus cosine theta that we would like, which we don't have yet. So what do we do? We multiply the top and the bottom, meaning we multiply the numerator and the denominator by one plus sine theta plus cosine theta. Now, when you do this, there are two different ideas that you want to think about. Idea number one, you're really multiplying it by one, so you don't change the value. And idea number two, you're changing the form, which is going to help you get closer to what you want. So notice what I'm doing here. I would like one plus sine theta plus cosine theta. So I'm going to copy this. I'm not going to do anything else because that's what I want, and I have what I want. So again, let me put this in yellow. So again, this is what I want, and I have it now. So I don't expand this. I don't do anything. I just copy it for the rest of the upcoming steps. On the other hand, I do copy 1 plus sine theta. If you look at the denominator, you can expand this. Cosine theta times 1 is cosine theta. Cosine theta times sine theta is going to be cosine theta times sine theta. And of course, cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine theta squared. When you th think about the next step, your goal is to eliminate 1 plus sine theta because there's no 1 plus sine theta on the left-hand side. And the only way we can do that is by factoring. So if you slow down, you can look at this part right here, cos square theta, which is exactly the same as one minus sine square theta. So again, everything else I'm gonna copy, but I am changing the cosine square theta in terms of one minus sine square theta. So again, we copy everything just like that. Now, you know, if you keep going, remember our goal is to factor so to factor, what I need to do is to recognize if you look at the denominator, I can factor this and there's a common factor. So I'm going to erase this. I'm going to keep going. This is almost like a vertical whiteboard that I'm doing manually. I'm just going to continue back at the top here. Again, if you look at this carefully, what happens? My goal is to factor one plus sine theta, which I will in about two steps. I like 1 plus sine theta plus cosine theta. I'm just going to copy. And now look what happens. You know, if you kind of collect like terms and you kind of look at this as two pairs, one thing you discover is this. Right here, this first pair, notice how you can factor cosine theta to the front. So I'm going to copy cosine theta, open the bracket, then I copy 1 plus sine theta. Now, likewise, if you look at this second part, which I'll write in green for you, 1 minus sine square theta, that's the difference of squares, a minus b times a plus b. So basically, this is going to be plus 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta, just like that. Now, you have to think about common factoring. So again, if I highlight this for you, there's a common factor of 1 plus sine theta, which is exactly the goal that I had in mind. So if you begin with the end in mind, you reverse engineer, we're going to factor this in a moment. So again, I'm copying the numerator. If I look at the denominator, there's a common factor of 1 plus sine theta, which I'll put in brackets. What is left? There's a cosine theta plus 1 minus sine theta. Again, let's keep going. Let's create a bit more space. And the most difficult part is now over because our goal is to factor. 1 plus sine theta, which we did. So now, if you look at what we have left, again, there's 1 plus sine theta plus cosine theta all over. If you look at the denominator, if I rewrite this, it's 1 minus sine theta plus cosine theta, which is precisely 
the left hand side. If you find this video meaningful and it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.